तमीव माता च पिता तुमीव तमीव बंधुष्य सखा तुमीव तुमीव विद्या द्रविणम तुमीव तमीव सर्व मम दीव दीव फ्रॉम द पांडुब गीता दव माई मादर दव माई फादर The word my friend, the word my companion, the word my learning, the word my wealth, the word my all in all, O Lord. Om Shanti, 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 peace, 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 be at all. This morning our subject is does god love us I am supposed to speak in person today in St Louis but due to covid we cancel my lecture in St Louis I decided to stay a couple of weeks more in Laguna so that i can work for holy mother's pictorial <coughs> we cancel our krishna festival also shami tattamayan and the head of the vedanta society of northern california is supposed to speak on the 26th that we have also cancel because our core group in camps in st louis told me swami we are not yet ready to bring persons in the temple so it is all in the hands of the lord but we are very lucky that youtube will help us so that you can hear lectures in st louis topic Does God love us? <clears throat> When I think about it, the first scene come to my mind is a mother and the child, newborn child. After terrible labor pain, mother gives birth to the baby. The nurse cleanses the baby and takes the baby. in the hands of the mother she forgets all pain her face becomes joyful when she takes the baby in her hands then she starts to feed the crying baby her breast milk who gives that milk in the mother's body which is god when the child is grow child go when the child grows the child breathes drinks water eats food who produces these things god it is amazing how god really is behind of everything I remember once I asked Swami Bhutishanand Ji, the twelfth president of the Ramakrishna Order. He was a very learned, wise monk. I asked him, Maharaj, which is in the scriptures and the lives of the great mystic saints, we find their love, their devotion, their longing for God. But you do not find anything that how God loves human beings and the devotees. He told me that there are some mentions in in the Bhagavatam. Let me tell you the problem. The scriptures. and the lives of the saints are written by human beings so they show the human perspective 
God doesn't write any books or any 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 biography or scripture. So we do not see God's perspective. Moreover, human beings are finite. Their thoughts are also finite. Their loves are also finite. So human beings cannot express or fathom or write the infinite love of God. Not possible. It is true we cannot visualize God and His love for human beings. But we can see the love of the avatars, God in human form. We see Krishna's love for the gopis and his playmates in Vrindavan. We see Buddha's love and compassion for the people and the animals. We see Christ's love for his devotees and disciples. Ram Krishna's love for his devotees and disciples. They are great lovers, these avatars. So today I shall tell you some stories of Sri Ram Krishna's love for his devotees. This God and devotees, they are connected with a cord of love. God cannot function without the devotees, and devotees also cannot function without God. If the devotees do not call on God, God sleeps on Ananta Shayana. He thinks, nobody is calling me, what is the necessity of getting up and move around? So God goes to sleep. And devotees also, human beings also, when they are tormented, suffered terribly from Maya, they cry. They want peace and joy in their lives. And that comes from God. As I always say, love, sorry, peace and bliss cannot be bought in the grocery shop and the supermarket. They come from God. The kingdom of heaven that is within us. So the God comes and devotees and they are play. We are all playmates of God. This world is the playground of God. And we are all playmates. We are always playing. That is called Lila Madhurja. Lila, the divine play of God. We find in the Bible, listen, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into his house and eat with him, and he will eat with us. This is the way we find Sri Ramakrishna did not confine himself in the temple garden of Dakshinishwa. He used to go from door to door in the houses of the Jabuchis in Calcutta and other places. It was hard for him to walk. So he used to go by horse carriage. Shri Primananda also mentioned that whenever any Jabuchis would come to Dakshinishwar, Sri Ramakrishna would entertain them feed them prasad. Well, do you like to have beetle roll? Do you like to have tobacco? So do you want to smoke? In many ways, Sri Ramakrishna used to entertain the Jabuchis. First, I shall tell you about Rani Rashmuni. Sri Ramakrishna said she was one of the eight companions of the Divine Mother. And she was born to set the stage for the Avatar Ujpele, that is the temple garden of Dakshineshwar, 
or Sri Ramakrishna lived for 30 years. So it was the Falharini Kali Puja. Sometimes it falls in, 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 in June, May, June. Whole night there was puja. But Sri Ramakrishna is supposed to get some prasad in the morning. The prasad did not come. So he was anxious. Why did I not get the prasad? So some Yogananda at that time, Jogin, he was thinking, you know, Master is such a in samadhi and this and that, but still he is a temple priest. He is seeking for a little prasad and rice and banana, you know, all these little things. His, his priest nature has not yet gone. That is the way Yogananda was thinking, seeing the anxiousness of Sri Ramakrishna. But Sri Ramakrishna did not wait. He put it in slipper and he straight went to the temple office and asked the manager, what is the matter? I did not get my prasad. Oh, sorry, sir. We are going to send right now. You please go to your room. We shall send the prasad. Prasad came. Before prasad came, Sri Ramakrishna was talking to Yogananda. Look. Rani Rashmuni spent so much money, built this temple. He she wanted <coughs> that that this prasad, all these things must be the devotees will eat so that she will get some virtue. But do you know what? With those temple priests, they carry all this prasad to their home. And some have secret some mistresses, prostitutes, they carry this prasad to them. Do you know why I seek all this prasad? So that Rani, if the prasad comes to my room, I may, I eat, I touch very little, but I feed the jabuchis. So that Rani Rashman will get some virtue. This is the way we find even a little action of Sri Ramakrishna has very deep, deep meaning. Next Swami, sorry, Mothuranath Vishwas. Mothur's wife was Jagodamba, had blood dysentery, about to die. The doctors gave up hope. Mother came to Dakshineshwar. He fell at Sri Ramakrishna's feet. Father, what is going to happen, you know? But do you know, Father, what is in my mind? I shall not be able to serve you anymore. If my wife dies, the other son-in-laws of Rani Rashmani will be the caretaker of this temple girl of Dukshineshwar temple garden. Father, I shall not be able to serve you. Immediately seeing Sri Mothur's pain, agony and cry, Sri Ramakrishna in an ecstatic mood. Don't be afraid. Your wife will be cured. Mothur knew that Sri Ramakrishna's words will always come to true. Came home, found Jagodamba's condition was improving. It shows that how Taku loved his devotees. Next, Balaram Boshu. Sri Ramakrishna loved Balaram. Balaram also loved Sri Ramakrishna. Balaram wrote in the Almanac how many times Sri Ramakrishna visited my home. One hundred times. One hundred times Sri Ramakrishna visited Balaram's home. And he says, Balaram's house is my parlor. All Jebuchis, many 
cannot come to Calcutta, sorry, Dokshineshwar, so they come to Balaram's house. Their Thakur used to meet them. Their Sri Ramakrishna talked, sang, danced, pulled the chariot, gave so much joy to the Calcutta devotees, amazing. Once Balaram's wife was sick, news came to Dokshineshwar. Sri Ramakrishna told Holy Mother, hello, you go, see Balaram's wife. Mother said, there is no, how shall I go, there is no carriage, go, walk, nearly five, six miles. Luckily, a carriage was available, so Holy Mother went to see. Lakshmi, Sri Ramakrishna's niece, told another reminiscences. Once Balaram came with his family to see the master in Dokshineshwar. They were returning in the evening. They came by boat. And the boat, when it was in the middle of the river, Sri Ramakrishna found Kal Boishaki, the northwestern wind, whole space cloudy, deep wind, gusty wind. And he was watching, standing from the, from the, from the, from the, that bathing heart, our Chandi, and the boat was about to sink. The boat was in Topsy Charbi. Sri Ramakrishna was saying, Mother, what will happen if something wrong happened? People will say, Balaram went to see, went to see that hopeless monks and who his whole family are drowned into the Ganges. Mother, protect me, protect me, protect me. Sri Ramakrishna was praying. Anyhow, the boat slowly disappeared. He has no rest. He was agonizing and pacing back and forth in his room, seeing that master's condition without telling him, Yogananda walked, went to Calcutta and got the news that Balaram and his family reached safely in Bagbazar. So, came back with the news in when it's 11, 12 o'clock at night. Sri Ramakrishna was relieved. It shows that you don't think only we think of God and God does not think of you. Never think that way. Ram Chandra Dutta. Ram started something interesting. He started Utshav, festival, taking Thakur. So today Paras in your house, what you will have to do? You will have to engage a musician. You will have to engage somebody who can read the Bhagavatam. Then Sri Ramakrishna, and then you will have to arrange feast. If it is in your home, you will have to give the feast. And all devotees will come to your home. So Ramadatta started taking festival, taking Thakur. Thakur will talk, sing, dance in Samadhi, make jokes. It is a big festivity. If you want to read the gospel of Ramakrishna and if you see the description of each home Sri Ramakrishna is visiting, it is really something. How Sri Ramakrishna uplifted the minds of the devotees in the higher realm. So Ram was a little miserly. He was thinking, if I bring so many people, there's so much expenses involved. <laughs> so, but by the grace of he, Sri Ramakrishna was asking, when are you going to invite me? When are you going to invite me? Sir, we full moon in Boishak. In the meantime, he got some extra money in from his job. And he was keeping that money secretly with his wife. Then he was thinking, perhaps I got this extra money because Master wanted to come to my house. Anyhow, Balaram was very, I'm sorry, Ramdatta made a big festival in his house. And Sri Ramakrishna told him, Tumi bhaktu de sheva gorbe, only start the devotees. Then Ramdatta bought 
a piece of land in Kankur Gachi and just started Jogodan. Sri Ramakrishna is saying, Hey, you butcher is rich, how is butcher you did not invite me? Sri Ramakrishna is seeking invitation, forcing him, invite me, invite me, invite me. So, Paul uh, Ramdhatta says, Master, you will have to come. Sri Ramakrishna went there, 26 December 1883. He got down from the horse carriage and saw these things and he was so happy that Kankur Gachi is now a great holy place. Ramdas's two, three daughters died from cholera. Sri Ramakrishna got the news. He was sending devotees and this and that and lamenting. Then Ram came. God gave, God took away. Sri Ramakrishna took the grief from his mind. If you were two, three children die, what, how do you feel? He raked the grief from the bereaved father. That is Sri Ramakrishna. Manamohan Mitra. He was very touchy. One day Sri Ramakrishna, Sri Ramakrishna was praising Surendra Dutta. Surendra has so much devotion, so he was picked. He stopped coming to Dakshinishwar. So Sri Ramakrishna was sending people, bring Manamohan. He sent Rakhal also, Brahmananda. Go, Brahman, Brahmananda is the married Manamohan's sister. So send, bring Manamohan. Manamohan told him, when I shall get devotion, then I shall come. Thakur praised Mo, 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 Shurendra, so he was very much hurt. But his devotion is not counted, you see. <laughs> so one day what happened? Thakur <clears throat> took a boat and Balaram and Niranjan and with a group of devotees went to Kurnagar. Kurnagar is the other side of the Dakshineshwar. So went to the garden, and Monomon was in the bathing garden. And <coughs> seeing Balaram, he say, I'm glad that I am seeing a devotee to you there. Sri Ramakrishna was inside the boat, and with a canopy there, country boat. And Rakha, uh, Niranjan said, Why did you not come to Dakshineshwar? He was, but the master himself has come to see you. He was overwhelmed. He took Sri Ramakrishna to his home. You know, do you know how you feel? Ekebale man bhanjan. Man, man mani pik, P I K V V. How Krishna broke the that kind of obhiman of. Radha, he became small. He put devotee up, he became small. Sometimes if I, Krishna is, is touching the feet of Radha, please forgive me. When he, devotee became higher than God. That we see. Bhaktir kache isha chho, it is in the gospel. Bhaktir kache isha choto hoye jan. God becomes very small to the devotees. Humility. M. Mahindranath Gupta. Thakur loved M. very much. Sometimes we think that we think of God, God does not think of us. It was 5th October 1884. Sri Ramakrishna was telling him, You know, you do not ask anything from me. You love to see me. You love to hear me. My mind also dwells on you. When you do not come, I think perhaps you are not well. Why is it not coming? Day and night I think of you. When we hear this kind of 
sayings of Sri Ramakrishna, we feel that during our bad time, Sri Ram God is also with us. 25th June, 1884. You know, the other day when I came to Calcutta, I was thinking to visit your home. Could you give me your address? God is seeking address from the Jabuchi so that he can visit his home. Amazing. Give me your address. Amazing. Sir, my home is now near my school in Telipara. Sometimes Jibuchis becomes magnet, at times God. Sometimes God becomes magnet, at times Jibuchis. This you will have to understand when you read the Gospel of Ramakrishna. Amazing. They are attracting each other. There is a saying that that person only can punish who loves. I love you, so for your good, I must even punish you. Sri Ramakrishna scolded him and shattered his ego four times when you read the Gospel of Ramakrishna. Because he wanted that man should be the recorder of my Gospel, egoless. If you are egoless, if you are not egoless, you cannot write the gospel. Thakur Bhul said, this man has no ego. I entered fully inside him. When you read these things, when you, you will have to understand what Sri Ramakrishna is doing with his Jabhujis. Girish Chandra Ghosh. There is a saying, every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. It is a great proverb in English language. Girish's transformation is a glowing example of Sri Ramakrishna's power of, as a saviour. Putit Pavun, saviour of the fallen. Kopal Mochon, who can erase the bad karma. Avatar has that power. Girish came and introduced himself. I am a sinner. The place I sit, seven feet deep, that place becomes sinful. I am a liar. I am an alcoholic drunkard, I go to the prostitutes, I am an actor, I play, I, my acting in the stage, I play with the prostitutes. Only a hero can introduce himself that way. If we do a little bit wrong things, we hide, we hide, we hide. No hiding. Sir, this is me. You like it or don't like it, this is me. Sri Ramakrishna found, here is a wonderful example for my divine play. I need him. So that I can demonstrate my power of the Saviour. You see, Christ needs Mary Magdalene. Buddha needs Amrapali, a prostitute. How he transformed this, this avatar's transfer. Chaitanya needs Jagai Madai. How they, he transformed these people's lives. See, Sri Ramakrishna absorbed Girish's scolding and all those things. But do you know what? In Kashipur, Thakur gave Girish a nokar cloth. There are 12 pieces of bukar cloth and rudari. 
11 disciples, monastic disciples gave, one for Girish. Amazing. Amazing. He lifted his mind to the higher plane of consciousness. Sri Ramakrishna did not change his life through scolding or punishing or doing anything. Through love, through compassion, through understanding, not through force. Girish was reborn. Another thing we must observe, Sri Ramakrishna accepted Bokalma, power of attorney, only from Girish, none else. Power of attorney, he took only of Girish's power of attorney. Thakur says, O Shur Bhakta, who is a heroic Jabuti, 125% faith. Ode Nakkunnao Nebe, Avar Bhagavano Nebe. They want young girls and at the same time they want God. It is a different class. <laughs> Giri says he is beyond truth and untruth. He again Sri Ramakrishna is telling Ma, I cannot talk anymore when the cancer came. A.M., Girish, Ram, Bijoy, give them a little power so that they will teach them and then I gave a final touch. Sri Ramakrishna made Girish in the, in the stage of a teacher. Lokshika. The person who is a sinner, is a wicked person, drunkard, then one day said, hey, Girish Ghosh, one day people will wonder seeing your transformation. Then Girish wrote in his reminiscences. One day I went to Dokshinishwar, master was taking his lunch. He fed me his rice pudding. The dessert, Sri Ramakrishna fed. I was thinking, these lips kiss so many prostitutes. And this holy man is touching that leaves with, with rice pudding. He is God. Shai Vishuddhanandaji used to say, we used to go to Girish. Girish says, you want to see Ramakrishna's miracles? Come see me. I am Ramakrishna's miracles. What I was and what I am now. Seeing me, you can understand Ramakrishna. If I knew there is so much sin who can take, I would do a little bit more before I came to him. If I would see such, such a dustbin where he can put all my sin, I would do a little bit more before I came to him. It is said. This is the sign of love. The person we love, we think of him. We carry that person in our hearts. So Girish says, you people are trying to think of God, I am trying to forget him. I cannot work. Master possessed me. When you read this type of utterances, you know, we get inspiration. Kadipada Ghosh, another drunkard and jibachi. His wife's name was Krishna Priyangini Dashi. She came 12 years before Kadipada came to Thakur. Heard that he is a holy man. He came, could you give me some medicine so that I can change my husband's mind? He is a drunkard, he goes to prostitutes. Mother sent, oh, Sri Ramakrishna sent her to Holy Mother. Holy Mother sent her to Sri Ramakrishna. So she was like a shuttlecock back and forth. 
Then mother took a bell leaf and wrote some mantra and prasadi, some kinds of nirmala, offered things, and said, put it in an amulet and wash that thing and drink. That man came to Dakshineshwar to see Sri Ramakrishna after 12 years. Sir, I heard that people here come here for intoxicant. Is there any good wine here? Sri Ramakrishna said, this is country made wine. But I am expecting British. Money, whiskey, brandy, that British wine. That I like. Sri Ramakrishna, no, it is country made. You will not be able to bear it. Sir, give me a little so that I can, I can soak my throat. Give me something. Sri Ramakrishna touched him. And then he started to cry. Then his whole life was changed. He became a great Jabuja Prabhu. Ganindranath Bishas wrote about him a very touching story. A touching story. One day, Mom, Kalipada wanted to take him to his home, so he brought a boat. And he told the boatman that when returning, drive the boat in the middle of the Ganges, not by the side. Sri Ramakrishna got into the, into the boat, the, it came in the middle of the Ganges. He grabbed Sri Ramakrishna's two feet and said, Sir, I am a thaki. I drink, I am a wicked man. But you are the ocean of grace and mercy. I do not practice japa and meditation. You will have to do something for me. He grabbed Sri Ramakrishna's two feet. Sri Ramakrishna was telling him, what are you doing? What are you doing? Bringing the boat in the middle of the river? What are you doing? No, sir, you will have to do something for me. All right, you, you stick out your tongue. So Sri Ramakrishna wrote a mantra on his tongue. Henceforth, a mantra will go automatically. He will get mantra. Sir, I am not happy with that. I did so many sinful acts in my life that when I shall die, I shall see everything is dark. My wife, my children, nobody will go with me. You promise that holding my right hand, you will take me? Oof, all right, all right, all right. I shall do that. Please, please, <laughs> leave my feet. <laughs> and it actually happened. When he died, he raised his right hand and died. Adhar Lal Shen. He was a deputy magistrate, Thakur's deputy. Sri Ramakrishna told him, you are my very close relative. But Sri Ramakrishna knew that he will not live long. So he told him, have the company of the holy very quickly, as much as you can. And Sri Ramakrishna wrote a mantra on his tongue also. And he got a realization. He got an experience, spiritual, deep experience, experience. One day, Sri, other told Sri Ramakrishna, Sir, what kind of power do you have? Oh, you want to know my power? People are scared to hear about Deputy Magistrate. And I put the Deputy Magistrate to lie down on my floor. Sri Ramakrishna told him that every, you must have the company of the Holy. So British, during the British period, Jabuji Magistrate is a very high position. So after work in a horse carriage, he used to come to Dakshineshwar and talk, Sri Ramakrishna would talk to him, and he fell asleep and he used to sleep on Sri Ramakrishna's float. There is some carpet there, he used to sleep. At 10 o'clock, Sri Ramakrishna would say, hey, Oda, now you get up, go home. <laughs> Every day. Used to say that. <laughs> so, so somebody criticized and said, Master, 
Hey, other comes here to sleep. What is wrong? It is mother's place. People come here so it's a peace. Other sleeps on me in my on my floor. What is wrong? Thakur defends the other. Other fell from the horse and had a injury, and that killed him. And Sri Ramakrishna, when other died, it is said Sri Ramakrishna stayed in bed for three days. Cried, mother, you are taking away my devotees. Devendranath Mojumdar, where do you come from? Calcutta. You have come. Why did you did you come here to see you? To see me? Look my hand. His hand broke, so there was a bandage. They put some wooden or the bamboo strip, and the bandage. No, no plaster. <laughs> That is the way Sri Ramakrishna. You have come to see this, and he was showing like, like. <laughs> Like Sri Krishna, you know. <laughs> no, sir. I have come to see you. <laughs> Then he came to see Sri Ramakrishna, and he was very sick. Sri Ramakrishna sent Baburam to him for a long time. He did not come. Then <clears throat> he came to him to Dukshinesh in Baburam's house. Then, <laughs> then when he came to Dukshinesh, he said, "You know." I am thinking that one day I want to visit your home, sir. It would be wonderful if you go. But you know, but don't invite too many people. He knew that man was poor, doesn't have much money. Well, no, no, sir. Rin on Krishna, Rin on Pibet. One can borrow money and buy some ghee. Money feed people. <laughs> It was sixth April, eighteen eighty-five. You will see. In the gospel, sixth April, eighteen eighty-five, Sri Ramakrishna went to his home, and the poor cannot afford. My health is not; my stomach is not good. Don't make too many items. Sri Ramakrishna is considering a way so that he will not have to spend too much money for me. You know, when we read these stories, we see that the human aspect of Sri Ramakrishna. Nabogopal Ghosh and Nistarini Devi. I went to their home in Ramkrishna Pur, Howrah. Past January eighteen eighty six, Sir Ramkrishna became called for to do. Nabogopal came in the evening. Ramdasta says, "Sir, what are you doing?" Sir Ramkrishna became called for to do today. Go to him and ask something. He went to Sri Ramakrishna's room, Master. What will happen to me? You give blessings, experience to many people today. I came late. Do you have to do any job? Could the bar be? Will we be able to practice a little job or mind meditation, Sir? I have no time. I have a very responsible job. Six, seven children. Why? Big family. Personally, get time to repeat mantra and japa and meditation. Acha, will you be able to chant my name? Oh, that I can do that. So we started to say Jai Ram Krishna, Jai Ram Krishna, Jai Ram Krishna. So one day he Sri Ramakrishna went to his house in Calcutta, Badur Bagan. There he sang and danced and he saw Nabokov saw Sri Ramakrishna as Krishna, taking the form of Krishna. Sri Ramakrishna was dancing, and Sri Ramakrishna, his wife Nistarini, was a in, was an incarnation of of Chinnu Masta, one of the. Ten forms of the Divine Mother, and she, she was pregnant. Sometimes in eighty-four, 
<laughs> and came Sri Ramakrishna and told Sri Ramakrishna, when this is this one will born, I shall give to you. When my son. <laughs> so when the son was born, <laughs> he brought the newborn baby to Sri Ramakrishna. Sri Ramakrishna touched his head, all right, all right, keep it, raise it, and then when it will grow up, I shall take it. That is Swami Ambikananda. I read his reminiscence and say, oh, beautiful. Swami Brahmananda's disciple, Ambikananda. Sri Ramakrishna was telling Nisarini, you know, you must have a lot of jewelry, like the Divine Mother in, in the temple. Kali has a lot of jewelry. So she had a lot of bangles. And when women, you know, when they come, they move their hands and they make some noise, all the bangles. Sri Ramakrishna one day was in ecstatic mood in Samadhi. What are you doing? Why are you making so much noise? Do you know, don't you know, that when I go into Samadhi, I keep a fine link between my Samadhi stage and the subtle body with the, this gross body. If the sound comes, if the connection is cut off, I shall never be able to return to the Guru's body. So don't make too much noise here. So when she would go, she would tie her all her gem bangles <laughs> and so that it will not make any noise. How Sri Ramakrishna? <laughs> when Sri Ramakrishna was in cancer, was suffering from cancer in Kashipur garden house, she made some shondesh and carried for Sri Ramakrishna. Hello, what do you want? Master, I made some shandesh, I want to feed you. At that time he was taking only some liquid things. Sri Ramakrishna, all right. So put one shandesh, Sri Ramakrishna ate. Are we happy? No. You will have to eat one more. He ate one, another. Are you happy now? No. You will have to eat more. No, I shall eat in my subtle body. I just fulfill your desire. She became sick. She had uduri. Uduri means dropsy. And Sri Ramakrishna's birthday, she used to tell her daughters-in-law, carry me to carry me to the kitchen. There I shall make shandesh. Master loved my shandesh. I shall feed you. And when she died, she took the picture of Sri Ramakrishna and put on his chest, Jai Sri Ramakrishna, and died. Look how Sri Ramakrishna Deep to these devotees. Joginma. Sri Ramakrishna had many women, several women devotees. Joginma, Gulapma, her well known. She was married with a very rich person, but he was alcoholic, bad character. He had two, three wives. But she, Yogin must try to change her husband's mind, could not do it. By him, she had a daughter, Gonu, came back to her father's house. And then went to, with Balaram, met Sri Ramakrishna. One day Sri Ramakrishna told Yogin Ma, Tumar ishto er modde ache, your chosen deity is within me. Every Sunday, Balaram Babu used to take the boat, hire a boat, and take Bal Bhagavad Gita, Kalka Jaja, which is the Dokshineshwar, early in the morning. Whole day they stayed in Dokshineshwar, in the evening they would return to Kalkata, every Sunday. 
you know, that, that I, 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 can, I can feel it. Joginma says that we are waiting when the Sanji will come, when the Sanji will come. You know, we were doing all household work at home, but waiting for Sanjays. But when the Sanjays come, very early in the morning we used to finish all our housework, and then we take the boat, and do you know what? Whole week we had some kind of nesha, intoxication. All the time thinking when the Sanji will come, so that we can I can stay with the mother, I shall braid her hair, I shall give service to Sri Ramakrishna. But a whole week my mind dwelt on Dakshineshwar. My body is in Calcutta, but my mind is in Dakshineshwar. That Sri Ramakrishna taught. He says, you know, if you have a toothache, you can do all the household work, but your mind remains in the toothache. One day Sri Ramakrishna told Yoginma, what else do you want? You fed me, you served me, you saw me, you served me. Don't be. He blessed him, her. At the time of death, your this thousand petal lotus will bloom. Yes. One blessing, that's enough. Gulapma. It is in the Mahabharata, death is inevitable, it comes to everybody. A husband died, one son died, daughter was married with a rich man, the daughter died, grief stricken Golapma came to Dakshineshwar. Burst into tears. I have none. Amar keu nahi. Sri Ramakrishna was so happy. The person who says I have none, God belongs to him, to her. You are very fortunate. Sri Ramakrishna took her and went to Nahabha and introduced Holy Mother to her. A Bamuni, this Brahmin's daughter, girl, woman, will be with you all through your life. Golapma, Mother's bodyguard. And feed her. You see, when a person is very grief-stricken, if you feed that person, the grief stops. They cannot cry. You must put some food in the stomach. Feed this girl well. How lucky this woman, you know, this widow, the grief stricken. She was the bodyguard of the Divine Mother. Wherever she would go, Golapma would protect Holy Mother. Suresh Chandra Dattu. He was from Brahma Samaj. He was a close friend of Nag Mahasaya. Came to Sri Ramakrishna. But he did not care for Hindu gods and goddesses or initiation. Nag Mahasaya told him, have initiation from the Master. No. Then he Sri Ramakrishna died. He got a job in Afghanistan, Quetta. 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 Then he left the job, resigned, and came to Calcutta. At that time, he had a desire to have initiation. No, first he went to Dukshinishwar to see Sri Ramakrishna. But seeing the master is in that condition, he did not approach. When Sri Ramakrishna died, one night he was crying on the bank of the Ganges. Whole heart Then Sri Ramakrishna appeared from the Ganges and, he, and initiated him. 
this man, how he trans was transformed. When Swamiji returned from America, staying in Alambajar Mott, 1897, Swamiji's disciple, Sarat Chandra Chakravarti, wanted to serve the monks and bring everything for one day, Sri Ramakrishna service. Food, worship materials, everything he wanted to do. Swamiji said, hey, Bangal, you will, you will not be able to do it. Please give me a chance. All right. So he went to Calcutta and met Suresh Dotto and told him his intention that what he is going to do. Suresh Babu said, I shall help you. So he went and bought all the dry groceries previous day and early morning he bought fresh fish and other sweets and other things, fresh vegetables he bought in the, on the, early in the morning. And he took a horse carriage before sunrise, he entered the monastery. Then Swamiji saw him and said, my goodness, you came so early, sir, you said that, I shall have, hey, Junior Jesus, tell me who helped you. But I'm furious that, why did he not come with you? But he, in your carriage, but he is coming on food. Why? Well, he bought a bowl of sweet card. So this road is very bad. So your horse carriage will shuffle, will sh will shuffle that sweet card. So for the reason he is coming, carrying four five miles, carrying the sweet card on his head. This is called love. This is called love, sweet card. Then Purna Chandra Ghosh. He was a student of Ames school. Sri Ramakrishna considered him one of the six Ishwar coaches. Ishwar Kochi means they are akin to God. Vivekananda, Brahmananda, Yogananda, Niranjanananda, Primananda, and he says this Purna. These are the six Ishwar coaches. So his parents are very rich. They do not want him to go visit Dakshineshwar. Then he might be a monk, you know. But Thakur used to feed him and when he was in Balaram Mandir, he used to send him, bring him Purna here and give instruction to him. <clears throat> one day Thakur said, what do you think of me? Sir, you are Purna Brahma Narayan. You are Supreme God. How do you know? Kumud Bandhu Shen wrote in his reminiscences, one day Thakur took the horse carriage and took some sweets and went in the corner of the Shampukuri street and the Cornwallis street, which is near to Purna's house, and asked A.M. to call him. So A.M. went and Purna was evening time. Purna was reading in his, in his room and seeing A.M. through the window, he came out. Then Sri Ram M said, Master is waiting for you on the street. So he came, Sri Ram Krishna paid him and gave him some spiritual instructions. Sri Ram Krishna made a forecast that if he is married, he will not live long. But his parents forced him to get married when he was 16 years old. But he has a job, he was an accountant of the government of India, and he has few children. Then when he was in jail, he had tuberculosis. So he 
was dying, so his mother, Purnas' mother, came to Holy Mother, please bless so that my son can survive. I shall pray to Sri Ramakrishna, Holy Mother said. But Mother knew that he would not live long. Swami Shuddhananda told one story of Purno. One day Purno decided to commit suicide. He thought, before I commit suicide, I shall go and check shower. Then I shall go to the shrine, bow down to Sri Ramakrishna, then I shall commit suicide. He took shower, came to the shrine, then he was thinking, let me open the gospel of Ramakrishna, Kothamrita, taking a message of Sri Ramakrishna, I shall leave the world. The moment he opened it, do you know what he saw? Chaku Purno Balog Bhakto Chakur Purnir Mongol Chinta Guri De Chen. Purno is a boy Jebuchi. He was 13 years old at that time. It is in the gospel. Sri Ramakrishna is thinking of his welfare. Master is thinking of me. He changed his mind. He did not commit suicide. You see, when we hear these kinds of stories, we feel Sri Ramakrishna's life and the influence of the Jabuji's life. One day, Purna told another story. Somebody said, Sir, if Sri Ramakrishna were alive today, perhaps he would be very helpful to you. Purna said, What do you mean? The other night, he had a nurse in his room. The other night, I wanted to go to the bathroom. So without disturbing the nurse, I went, holding the wall, I went to the bathroom, touching the wall. Then while coming back, I was dizzy, I was about to fall. Sri Ramakrishna grabbed me and carried me to bed. Mother, master, put me to bed. When we read these stories of the disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, we feel some kind of hope. and happiness. We think that during Sri Ramakrishna's lifetime he plays with the Jebusis and he does not play anymore. That is not true. Swami Vivekananda wrote in the Belur Mach rule book, Sri Bhagavan Ekhano Sri Ramakrishna Shodhi Thak Karen Nai. The Lord Sri Ramakrishna has not yet given the Ramakrishna's body. He is in subtle body. Kiyo ko taoga akon o shayi shori re dekhiya thaken, upodesh paya thaken. Even now some people see him in that form and get his advice. And even now, if you wish, you can see him. It is a gospel of hope. So here I end my lecture. These stories, those who are interested can read more about them in They Lived With God, God Lived With Them. Sri Ramakrishna loved his devotees. Om Sthapukaya Cha Dharma Isya Sarva Dharma Sarupine Avatara Burishthayo Ramakrishna Yate Nama Om Shanti 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 I bow down to Sri Ramakrishna who established the universal religion who is the embodiment of all religions and who is the foremost of all avatars we bow down to him again and again. 
ओम शांति 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 पीस 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 बिल्कुल